What's up, guys? So I wanted to come on here and just talk real quickly about um, an issue that I've been keeping up with the last couple of days. Um, right now in the Montana State Legislature, um, a representative from the 100th House District Zoe Zephyr, who is herself a trans woman, is has been currently debating a lot of anti-trans laws that Republicans have been putting forward in the legislature. Thankfully, one of the bills that just um, that just uh, went through there and it was debated actually got voted down so it was defeated and that was an anti-drag which let's be honest is an anti-trans law and uh currently they are debating the issue of gender affirming care for trans people and in the during the debate about the issue zephyr had made a comment about how the people that are voting to ban or are proposing to ban gender affirming care and who are voting for it are not really well aware of the situation or what is going on in it now i would make well actually we all know that that's not true because um let's be honest these people know what they're doing they know that they, that it's going to harm trans people and that's the point they don't want us to exist they don't want us to have this this specialized care they want to see us suffer they want to see us kill ourselves that's the point that they this make no mistake this is all part of trans genocide so in response zoe made a statement about that and she basically said to the people that are voting for this that they will have quote unquote blood on their hands which of course is referring to the fact that many trans people will die because they will and they will most likely take it by their own hand because they will not have access to the care that they so desperately need, even if it's just as simple as hormones like estrogen and T blockers or testosterone blockers, for those of you that aren't aware what that is. And so in response to that, the Montana Fascist Caucus has decided to propose a censure of Zoe Zephyr, which if you're not familiar with that, is essentially a piece of legislative horse hockey that basically means that they are trying to essentially ban and, and most likely expel Zoe Zephyr from the Montana State Legislature. Keep in mind, Zephyr was, was voted in in a Democratic election in November of 2022 overwhelmingly by the way for her constituents in and around the missoula area now it is a constituency of only eleven thousand residents but when eleven thousand but when about 80 what was it 80 percent or so of those eleven thousand residents or at least the voting the, those that came out to vote voted in favor of her that says a lot and yes, that's a small population, but nonetheless, she was democratically elected and she has been serving only for a few months. So the fact that the Republicans are trying to out this person, no pun intended, um, trying to push them out of the out of the legislature so soon because she had the brave audacity 
to call them out and ex and try to put into their mindset that you are going to kill people says a lot for the response that the Montana fascist caucus has has put forward because the Montana fascist caucus does not care the entire Republican Party does not care. They know what they're doing. So that's why they're going for they're trying to go forward with this. So in response to that, I have decided to make this video. As well as that, I have decided to invite Zoe Zephyr, Representative Zoe Zephyr, and Aaron Reed, who is a trans journalist who covers a lot of Zoe's legislative work and a lot of stuff going on in the Montana State Legislature. She covers a lot of stuff uh, relating to trans topics, politics, issues, bills, et cetera, you name it, uh, going on within the United States and some issues, sometimes even abroad. I have decided to invite both of them on to Red Peg and Corner. Um, to talk about this, talk about the issues facing trans people, and hopefully just kind of get some insight into that. Normally, I don't talk or really extend that invite to a lot of people, especially people to um, who still believe that the bourgeois democracy is valid and that it's some and that you can somehow achieve you know some sort of wholesomeness out of it um i don't usually do that but in this case this isn't an this isn't a discussion or a debate over socialism versus liberal democracy it is not an issue of it's it has nothing to do with any of that the issue right now is the fact that trans people's rights are under attack and that's why I'm extending this in invitation. So I'm hoping that they will respond in kind. I'm hoping that both of them, if not at least one of them, uh, will come on and uh, talk with me and hopefully give us all a little bit more insight into this. And um, until then, I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.